one story that we have been hearing since I think 2000, um, early 2018 about Iran is that um, we have had a crackdown of environmental activists or environmental experts in Iran. Um, and, and so a number of people have been in, in jail. One person is dead. Um, more than 550 days have passed so far. And, and um, the problem has not been resolved. It's not clear what their accusations are. They haven't had um, their uh, trial yet. Um, no one knows what is going on. Even the authorities are fighting against each other, saying that, you know, uh, that they're innocent and um, environmental activists keep writing letters and, and uh, being active on social media asking about what is happening to them. And it, it is a sad situation because this, this sends uh, confusing signals to the rest of the activists uh, in, 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 a, in an environment where you don't understand what is going on and when you can get, get into trouble and why you can get into trouble. Uh, you might self-censor yourself and stop working. Uh, this is the negative side of this. On the positive side, Iran is having a growing number of um, environmental NGOs and, and more and more people getting interested um, in doing something for the environment. Again, um, it's a confusing situation because they really don't know how to deal with the problems, what to do, what they can do, how they can offer solutions or take part in, 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 in activism. So there is some sort of, uh, I think, um, kind of, a, we have a kind of depression in general, which has been caused by this story. And, and my also, like my personal story and what happened to me in Iran, and I got invited to go back and, and serve on the government as the deputy head of Iran's Department of Environment. And then uh, I also got accused of Spionage and, and um, working for uh, foreign intelligence um, services to steal environmental information or, like you know, ratify the Paris Agreement so Iran uh, to stop Iran from f to stop Iran from development or just say fake stuff about uh, the country's water shortage problems and making up stories about how. Um, building reservoirs and dams and constructions have damaged our environment. So so these things are there and, and people see these things and, and they really don't know how to deal with um, the problems because um, the environment in Iran has got both uh, politicized and criminalized and so or securitized and this is a scary situation. And one reason for that is, is I think for a while um, the system uh, thought environment would be a safe space for people to uh, to work and and complain and you know when, whenever they're mad they, that's a space that's a safe space that they can uh, say whatever they like but after a while um, they realize that um, environment has a power to unite people regardless of their ethnicity their ideology where in the country they come from like everyone is sad for a dried up wetland. Everyone is sad when there's a dust storm. Everyone cares about the Iranian cheetahs.